when did I decide to start going barefoot? Well, I've always kind of walked barefoot on this hill here, but I didn't really decide to go barefoot until it was, I guess, in college when they didn't have a school dress code anymore, the way they did in high school where you were required to wear shoes. But then in high college, I noticed no dress code. Does that mean I'm allowed to just not wear shoes? And so I just tried it out and left my shoes in the car one day and continued to every other day after that. And I've been barefoot ever since. I am very comfortable walking barefoot on the rocks and I, I have a sense for it. I definitely Definitely wouldn't recommend it to anybody to walk on this type of terrain without first knowing how tough your feet are. Most people's feet are pretty sensitive because they, they're not used to the sensation of, of touching the ground. And I like being able to touch the ground. It, it keeps you more grounded. It keep, There's an electrical um, connection that happens through, through being grounded. It does make you more susceptible to being struck by lightning. But, um, so, that's a danger, but other than that, um, uh, we'll end all the other dangers of uh, what, what could happen to your feet. I mean, look at my feet. So, yeah, my feet are pretty, uh, cracked up and stuff, and they probably need some salve and care. Because this is what happens to your feet when you walk barefoot all the time on this type of terrain. So, I wouldn't recommend it all the time as much as I do, but I would recommend at least getting your feet to touch the real ground once in a while. Get your feet to the real ground. I mean, my feet are nasty, but just touching the real ground is, is, is so, so grounding. I don't know what to say about it, except that uh, I do recommend touching the ground, not going as barefoot as much as me. Okay, that's uh, when I decided to start going barefoot. <laughs>